Hello, welcome to SharePoint Journey. This is Devendra Veligandla. In this lesson, you will learn how to troubleshoot workflows built by SharePoint Designer in SharePoint 2013. One of the most common tasks we come across is how to troubleshoot workflows built by SharePoint Designer if they are not running as expected. So in this video, we are going to use log2 workflow list workflow history list action troubleshoot a sharepoint designer workflows so let's open sharepoint designer this is our sharepoint designer and if you see the workflows tab we have three out of box workflows which are available now let's create a new workflow we will choose a list workflow and here we'll choose a list called products and we will provide the name and description for this workflow and choose a platform type as SharePoint 2013 workflow I am using Office 365 site so it's already configured if you are on SharePoint on-premises and if you are not seeing this option please configure workflow manager 1.0 okay and click OK to create a workflow now you could see here we have all the actions and conditions available now let's start typing a log and you could see here the all the actions which are available starting with log is available so here we have log to history list is available now just press enter and click on the message here and click on this ellipse icon to build the parameters for the message and type here new product has been created so to get the product title use add or change lookup button here just click on that it will open a pop-up where you could choose the data source and field from the source let's keep the data source as current item and field from the source as a title and click OK and click OK again so now we have built the a message whenever the new item is added and from the transition stage we have to complete the workflow so go to the stage in the stage just click on end to workflow and let's change this stage name to log history list okay now just check for the errors and it says there is no errors let's go ahead and publish the workflow now we will be just publishing this workflow to our SharePoint site okay and it's done now now we could go and see the log workflow list now by default the workflow is starting manually okay let's leave that option as it is we'll go back to our SharePoint site this is our SharePoint site and our you could see the product list here now go to list workflow settings you could see here like the new workflow has been added and the SharePoint 2013 workflow for product list okay let's go back to the product list add a new item called product one click save so once it is added and go to item action menu workflows now we have one workflow which is available just click on that workflow just refresh the page now you could see here the workflow has run just click on that log history list and see the workflow history the new product the product one has been created so the product one has been populated automatically so this way what we could do is from the SharePoint designer if you go to edit workflow if you have any action which you are performing you could log this message and see how the workflows are behaving so this is how it looks when you build this workflow using a Visio. Okay, so we will see those things in future lessons. 
Thank you for watching this lesson. We'll see you in next lesson.